Tennis too big? Ping pong a little too small? Never fear, pickleball is here. Now, you may have heard of the game before, but what exactly is it? It's a great combination between tennis and ping pong. It's kind of a cross between tennis uh, and ping pong. Um, I would describe it as a sport that is a small version of tennis or a very oversized version of ping pong. Uh, using a paddle and a wiffle ball and uh, being on a court that's half the size of a tennis court. With the sport of pickleball, a stigma exists that the game is just for the older generations, but most say that's now being challenged. I think that's starting to change because there's a lot of younger people playing it. But by now I'm seeing teenagers, uh, college kids, um, which is fantastic. Thankfully, there are plenty of places to hang your paddle in the area. Every city of Goshen are larger-ish, and Elkhart County has courts now, it seems like. While there are several options as far as pickleball venues go in the area, most are outdoors, but not the Pickle House. It is a place to play indoors in northern Indiana when the weather is cold, nasty, windy, and snowy. As with most sports, a community is developed around the game, and a helpful one at that. But in general, people are very friendly, very helpful, like encouraging to one another, trying to help them, help people get better and learn and have fun. And for a lot of players, it's more than just a game. Since I had gone through a cancer diagnosis and had lymph nodes removed, maybe couldn't be quite as active as I was before. Um, however, was looking for a way to recover and get back to my competitive self. And so my husband saw the pickle house sign, pickleball sign at, in Middlebury um, at the Essen House and said, hey, let's go play. And Cheryl has every intention of continuing to play the game throughout her treatment process. It's also good to keep doing some of your normal things when you're going through a cancer journey. So why has the sport grown so much over the past five years? I just think it's a sport that anyone can try and do and have fun in the process. The sport is popular within Elkhart County, but where is it headed from here? I mean, I've seen many times it's the fastest growing sport in the United States. Um, you know, thousands and thousands of people every year uh, are taking it up. Reporting for Globe Sports, I'm Dante Stanton.